Thanks for joining us. I'm Elizabeth Tharp. Texas A&M is putting itself at the forefront for hypersonic research. The university's experiment station is partnering with the Lockheed Martin Corporation to work on more projects across many different fields. Our sunny side tells us what this new agreement has in store for the two research powerhouses. Texas A&M University has opened a new door to more research opportunities through a new agreement with Lockheed Martin Corporation. The corporation has already been partnering with the university and now this recent agreement will allow for deeper research in fields including hypersonics, cyber and directed energy and autonomy. This is a preferred partner agreement. Lockheed Martin um, has only done this with uh, a handful of universities across the country. It opens up an avenue um, for sponsored research between Lockheed Martin and Texas A&M. Dr. Elab says this partnership with Lockheed Martin is a rare opportunity. Lockheed Martin is a company that's number one in national defense uh, worldwide, um, and hypersonics is probably one of their top priorities as they make you know, fighter jets for the military to defend our nation. Um, and so the research that is really happening at Texas A&M is one of a kind in hypersonic. The collaboration of these two research powerhouses will focus on building even more research facilities across the university and advance their research and applied research much quicker. We've brought in uh, many resources from the Department of Defense. I, I think as the facilities grow um, at uh, at the Rellis campus and we get even more investment there and the Department of Defense will continually, the funding will grow there. This initial agreement is five years, but Dr. Elab says it can be renewed later down the line. I'm really excited to learn um, what could be done in the future, right? And, and when you start to think about that, um, even as sort of a lay person, when you look at things like SpaceX and other companies and um, just, it, it's phenomenal, right? Just to think about what could happen if you could do the type of experiments uh, that, that we are going to do here at the Rells campus. Dr. Elab says as the facilities continue to grow across the university, the school will gain more investments and sponsorships as well. In College Station, Sunnyside, KAGS News. Many of the research projects will be conducted at a recent $200 million Bush Combat Development Complex. And now